Goblin bikers are some of the most unfortunate characters. Not only did the guys manage to make Diabelster their enemy, but as soon as they arrived in Master Duel, they immediately faced fierce competition from Tenpai and other existing decks such as Voiceless Voice, so the archetype is largely overshadowed. But they remain one of the most unique recent archetypes in my heart. Greetings my buds, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Sarah and today we're going to see what these guys can do. Sarah Channel Goblin Bikers are an archetype of level and rank 3 or 6 monsters. The level 3 main deck members all have effects to detach and exceed material from anywhere on the field to summon them. Charger from the hand, Merciless from the grave, Clatter from the grave only during your opponent's turn, and Boom Mock from both your hand and grave as a quick effect. Furthermore, they have additional effects when summoned, Charger can search a spell trap, Merciless can summon another member from the hand, and Clatter can bring back a goblin from grave. They're supported by badass goblin bikers, who can be summoned without tributes and bring out a goblin from the deck when summoned. As for their exceed monsters, Ubanga is generic and can search a goblin, Crazy Beast can get rid of a spell or trap as a quick effect, Kick-Ass is a non-destruction remove, and finally Grial allows you to attack directly. As a rank 3 deck, they can also make use of the exceed armor engine. We start with the most basic combo, I start with Terror Top, this is the best case scenario. But you can work with any two level 3 monsters. Some examples are Instant Fusion plus any level 3 or tour guide. Use the Terror Top engine to go into Gabanga. Trigger Gabanga to search the new Gone Wild. Since you control a Goblin Biker, you can normal summon Gone Wild. Activate Gone Wild to summon Dug Charger. Dug Charger will activate to search Grand Entrance. Now you can use Gabanga to climb into Exceed Armor Fortress. We'll get him back, don't worry about it. Activate Grand Entrance to search Clatter and detach Gabanga to summon him. Clatter will activate to summon back Gabanga. Activate Fortress to search Full Armor Exceed. Then overlay Charger and Clatter into Exceed Armor Torpedo. Activate Torpedo to draw. We can now activate Entrance Second Effect in the Grave to detach one and add Charger back to our hand. We also activate the Bonga to put Gone Wild under it as an Exceed material. Since Fortress now has no material, we can use him to overlay into Dark Knight. Now remember that we have not used Charger's effect, so go ahead and detach Fortress to summon him. Now, I like to use Dark Knight effect to recycle Fortress. During the end phase, activate Gabanga to attach Boom Mock to it as a material. Now this does not look like much, but we have a lot of disruptions. Let's say your opponent puts a monster on the board. You can activate Clatter to detach from Gabanga and summon himself. Then you can go Chain Link 1 Clatter, Chain Link 2 Gone Wild, suck your opponent's cards up and summon back Charger. Then we can go ahead and flip Full Armor Exceed to overlay into Gossip Shadow, that's a pseudo negate. Boomok can then activate to detach Gone Wild, that's another suck. Also, we can use Full Armor Effect and Grave to equip the Torpedo to our Gabanga, which will trigger Dark Knight to suck up another card. As mentioned before, the deck's general power output is just not high enough to compete with many current decks. Being a combo deck, it's also weak against hand traps. A well-timed Nibiru will effortlessly dismantle your whole strategy. Max C and Mal Charmy can also draw into it, making it top priority to stop them. Boardbreaker and Blanket Negate such as Evenly, Dark Ruler No More or Droplet can also be devastating. The Goblin Biker players are not powerless, however. Ash Blossom or Cult can help against Max C, you can incorporate Gossip Shadow or Evolves or Lars into your combo to protect yourself from board breakers. Finally, the Goblin Bikers can summon Gossip Shadow early in their combo to stop Nibiru. And that's the basics of this deck, but I'm sure you are all dying for some action. So without further ado, let's jump right in and see how the deck performs.
And that's it folks, in this video we looked at Goblin Bikers, a very interesting and unique deck. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to check out my Facebook page. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. So there you have it, in this video we have introduced 10 Pi and how to use the deck. I hope this video gave you some good idea how to play in this format. Any question or suggestion, you can drop right in the comments. Also, did you know I had a Facebook page? You can check it out in the description.
I'll see you in the next video.